All right, I'm going to quit on this piece. I'm not done. I've got things i got to still do, but I'm far enough along now that I can take photographs of it, and uh, if I show in a gallery, um, I can show this piece, and people get a good idea what it's going to be in bronze. I just can't think of anything else to do right now. I, there's a couple of things on the uh, suspenders, and I've got to build up a base, but that's all stuff I can do in the future. I got an idea for something that I want to try out in a clay sketch, and I think that's what I'm going to do today. Yeah, sometimes I fly by the seat of my pants. And today I'm going to be using, or attempting to use, this kind of uh, sculpting wax, which I, I think I got on Amazon. I can't remember what brand it is or anything, because I got this probably two years ago, and I've never used it. In fact, I had to dust it off just now, because the... Uh, <laughs> The wax had gotten a lot of uh, dust over the years just sitting in this uh, little container. But anyway, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm just waiting for the wax to soften up. It's taking a long time. You can get bored waiting. All right, as you can see, I got my clay over here. I put the wax aside. It's just taking too long to soften. This stuff is really hard. I'm going to have to try it another time. Maybe that's the reason why I didn't try it the last time. It's been too long. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start. I don't know what I would do. Plot out the head measurements. Because that's how you measure everything on a human okay from the top of the head to the groin that's where all the package is on a male <laughs> anyway that's uh four heads and then you go back about a half and then you go down two more heads for the uh, two more heads to the knee And two more heads to the bottom of the leg. Now that's a mark for the uh, top of the head. And that's a mark for the bottom of the chin. And the shoulder would usually come about a half, one, about a half head down from the uh, chin. Bottom of the chin. So I'm going to put my rib cage right there. The rib cage comes down to just about two heads or three heads. And then we got the uh, the hip. Now all this stuff is covered in my instructional videos on creating a uh, human and uh, or the anatomy. And I've got a actually a whole uh, video on just uh, creating armatures. But uh, you can check out the link below this video for. Uh, a uh, review of my nine videos, instructional videos. If you buy all nine, you get three extra ones that are unlisted, that are good, good videos. And you get them for free for the price of nine. You get 13. So anyway, okay, that's the bottom. Of the, let's see. That's the bottom of the groin, right there. Okay. Right there. See, one, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Bottom of the groin, right there. I'm just plotting it out right now on the uh, board. I've never done this before. I thought this was kind of a neat idea to do that. There's the bottom of his uh, body or upper torso. 
That works out pretty good, actually. Now, let's do a leg. And this is going to be the lower leg. Down to the uh, foot. Alright, I'm just going to play with this. All right, I've got a figure started. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't know what kind of a character I'm doing. It's obviously somebody that's uh, getting up or... I don't know what I'm doing yet. This is not going to be a finished sculpture. This is just to work out the movement of what's going in my head right now. I was thinking of either a warrior on the ground getting up. He's been knocked off his horse maybe and uh, he's trying to get himself back up. Now I have to do a shield. Their shields were probably usually about the width of their sh chest. They weren't much bigger than that, although there were tribes that had bigger shields. I got a fondue stick. I was thinking of having a spear in his hand. And he's using the spear with a point down to kind of balance himself. And, uh... Well, this is the idea that I'm thinking for my next piece. Uh, I got one more thing I want to try. All right, this is the idea. I decided to try out what would be a war bonnet, and that looks good. I like the design. It balances all the way around, and that's really the key to creating a good piece of artwork, is to have it work all the way around. I like his positioning. I like the angle of everything. I don't know if I'll use a spear. I might use a war club. I don't know yet. I've got to decide. But that will come at another time. Right now I want to preserve the angle of this guy. So I'm going to put a stick. A fondue stick. To kind of brace him where I want this figure to be. Just like that. The, uh, it doesn't have an armature inside, so it has a tendency to want to start falling over. All right, I'm going to start this probably next week. I've got to uh, figure out what size I want to make them. I, I might make them the same size as my maquette is. It's a good size. And uh don't want to make it too big because then it gets real expensive. The war bonnet alone is going to make it cost a little bit, but I think it's worth having the war bonnet. And I might have the war bonnet actually more to the side like that. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. All right, good night, everybody. See you next week. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.